Greetings and hallucinations, and thanks everybody for being here today. Um, what we're going to talk about is up in something coming up in Photoshop. I don't think it'll be out in the next update because I don't think it's ready yet, as you'll see today. But there's a beta version of Photoshop running right now that has photo restoration in the neural filters. And you're going to look at this and go, oh, my God, but it's not even close to ready, but it's going to be fun to play with. So let's go ahead and get started and see if everything works or not. And let's see, let's do desktop so we can get around. And we'll get into Photoshop. I should have had this ready. There it is, August 30th. I'll start with this one first. And right now you'll see that I'm in the beta version of Photoshop in the upper left hand corner, it says Photoshop beta, which I don't know if anybody has, but if you want to get it, you can go to your creative cloud account, go down to beta apps on the left hand side, click on that, and it shows all the beta programs going and just click on Photoshop beta to download it and you can play. So back into Photoshop beta, we're gonna to go to filter, neuro filters. And I'm gonna to go to photo restoration down at the very bottom. And you'll see that it is um, only in beta. If you try to do this in regular Photoshop, your latest version will not have this. Turn off enhanced face and just do a straight photo enhancement to start with. And what it did was a little bit of color. So you got before and after. It just kind of added more contrast to it. If I do enhance face, this is where it's getting interesting, but it's also the face will be nice and sharp, but the rest of the image will not. So please change that about 10, about 15. So that's before and that's after just doing a photo enhancement. That's at 50% that I'm doing photo enhancement. Let's bring it back a little bit to say 20%. And then the best part is when you hit scratch reduction, I'm going to hit make this full screen, hit scratch reduction. Right now it's set to 20% as well. We'll let it run for a second. It takes, this is probably what takes the longest is scratch reduction. And we wait and we wait and we wait. Normally there's a little thing at the bottom down here that says we got eight seconds remaining, nine seconds remaining, whatever the case is, it's not showing up right now, which I don't know why. But that's okay. Patience. You must have patience. There it is. Preparing on device. And it done did it. Wow. And that's the wow. the twenty percent. Let's bump it up <clears throat> to forty nine, almost fifty, and let it run. And you can see it's not ready. Down in the bottom right hand corner, we have cancel and OK. The OK button is not highlighted, so it's not ready to click on it. But give it a few seconds and it will. So, Mike, within the beta version, you can still save a file after you've processed it with some of the stuff, correct? You can do everything in the beta version that you can do in the regular version. This okay. just has the latest stuff going on. And the only thing I know about in beta right now is the uh, photo restoration neural filter. <clears throat> I haven't seen anything else on here that is new and exciting. And we're waiting. There okay. we go. Processing on device down at the bottom. So you have before and after. So I'm going to output to new layer, click OK. 
and magically, I said magically, it will happen. A couple of things you'll notice as it does it on the hand that's sticking out here, because the scratch goes through his hand, and it also sets it off center when it brings it in. So that's something they need to work on. But you can see on his hand that it just can't figure out what to do with it. So there's still some work left to be done on the image. Um, there's a little scratch going across here that it didn't fix. But for the most <laughs> part, you have before and after. It added some trees in there. Took out scratches, took out a couple of boards that thought was scratches. But it's like, wow. Okay, that's a good start. Now I'll figure out where to go from here. So those people that are entering restorations in our art, artist category are having Photoshop do all the work for them now. So let's hit Command W, don't save. And we'll go to. Oh, go back to Photoshop. I want to do this image. You know, Michael, I seen a couple of these uh, demos before previously before you showed, and I tell you what, it's going to put I think an impact on PPA's restoration. Everybody's going to think they're a restoration artist now, and um, it's going to make the judges a little more critical when they're looking at things. And that's the bad thing because it makes the judges more critical when you actually do the work, and the people that cheat make it so it doesn't work good for you. Um, we're going to look at this image here. And you can see, number one, the color is way off on this. And there's also a whole bunch of spots on this uniform for where this was scanned. This image was given to me by a client who wanted a 16 by 20 for a funeral and needed it in two days. So needless to say, I gave it to Miller's after I retouched it and they turned around and had it to me the next day. So that's why I use Miller's, a little plug for them, by the way. We're gonna to go to filter, neural filters. <laughs> and I'll go down to photo restoration, turn off enhanced face for now. And then we'll just let it run for a second and see what it does. <clears throat> and that's just the photo enhancement. There's still a few red, red spots on his uniform, but before and after. So that's not a bad start. Let's crank it all the way up to 100% on photo enhancement and now would be a good whoa that went fast <laughs> holy cow so you have your before and you have your after you that said is, I'm, I'm i'm sorry mike you said that they're going to adjust the when it corrects itself it sets itself off to the left and right when it corrects itself what you said the image when it corrects when it corrects the color it seems like the image moves to the left or right oh when i hit okay down at the bottom down here right it, it should pop up to the upper left for some reason it's doing that okay. um we've got a big hair going through the hat up there if i hit scratch scratch reduction you'll see that nothing happens it's not even seeing that hair up there. And now we're getting the processing on device down here at the bottom, 49%, 50. And it's running slower with zoom, but it's still moving pretty quick. It has to go through and say, okay, this is a scratch. This is not a scratch. But it's not a bad start to get you going. It says two seconds, which means about 10 seconds. And we'll go command zero and before, after. 
there's a star on his sleeve right here, which is gone. We can bring that back when we bring it all the way up. Let's run scratch reduction up to 50% just for fun. And then we'll open it when it's ready. We're at 50%, so it'll be, it'll be a while. Three seconds, sure, right. But the cool thing about this, it is a great way to start. I mean, it saves you so much time and energy. I probably spent two and a half to three hours on this image to make it nice and pretty. Okay, so now at the bottom right, it says OK is highlighted. So we can hit OK. And it's going to make a liar out of It made it perfectly centered. But again, we're missing his star there, which is OK. All I have to do is put a layer mask on here, hit mask, brush. Now I got to find where the star is. So what I could do is I can go to object selection tool or quick selection tool, select the star. And that's not going to work on that one. So let's go ahead and do lasso. Come on. There we go. And for some reason, my computer's saying, I don't want to play. Oh, there's a reason why it doesn't want to play. That's on the wrong layer. So all we have to do is find that and then get the brush tool out, paint with black. So we got it there. And then I can retouch and finish it. Because obviously the coloring is off a little bit. We can change the color. I probably even put that on its own layer if I wanted to get rid of the red that's around there and bring the coloring back to normal. But from this to the, whoops, from this to this, it's not a bad start. And again, we can probably add a little bit more detail in here on the white badge there um, by masking it out as well. B for brush. Get a little bit more detail and then I'm gonna to have to do some color correction on there as well. But what the heck, I mean, that's not a bad start. It'll save me a whole lot of time. Don't save. And we'll do one more just for fun. This one, I'm going to show you the, the real drawbacks to the filter. So we'll go to Neural Filter, Photo Restoration. I'm going to turn off Enhanced Face for right now. Let it finish first. So that's what it did to start with. It did a color correction, which is not perfect took out some of the photo um, detail, the, I can't think of the name of it, a little bumps in the picture that you have there. And let's do an enhanced face. Well, that was the paper texture they printed on. Right, the, texture of the paper. That's the word paper, I was we're texture. That was a texture of the paper, the linen texture yeah. they used to print on. Now take a look at this, the face, is like a real person face. But the rest of the skin has not been touched. That's one of the drawbacks to this is it's mm. only doing just the face and not the rest of the skin. So I'll click OK. The color correction on this. OK, there we go. Um, the image ended up in the upper left hand corner. 
All you have to do is hit Command or Control Zero to get it back to the middle, and you're okay. So let's go ahead, go to Image uh, Adjustments. Nope, Image Auto Color, and that gets close. Fade Auto Color. Leave a little warmth in there. But you can see the hand with the texture in the hand, but the face is like super sharp, unrealistic compared to the rest of the image. So that's something they need to work on to get this worked out. Um, but they're getting there. A lot of dust and scratches in this one. So we'll do the same thing one more time. This will be the last one I do for you. And then we'll take your questions and pretend like we know what we're talking about. And I left the enhance face on. So you can see it does the same thing again. You can see the face is all nice and pretty and perfect, but the rest of the body and everything else is kind of blurry. Do a scratch reduction. It won't take out the little cracks and crevices on the outside frame, <clears throat> but it will take out some of the scratches. It'll take out some of the wood here. And then you wait and wait and wait and wait. Come on, you can do it. It doesn't make the dog's face any prettier. Okay, maybe it doesn't want to play now. So you can see that sometimes it does take a little while for this to run. Um, it is beta, remember, so it's not in the new version of Photoshop. We'll click on OK. And they're getting there slowly. Hey, Michael, I have a question. I have an answer. Dennis mentioned it's going to be more, uh, the judges are going to be more critical. And what sense, what do you mean by that as far as this program? Well, Dennis? I think I think Dwight and I can you know, jump in here. There's a lot of AI stuff coming out now, and a lot of this kind of things now that, you know, before, you know, like when Sherry got her artist, she did a lot of oils and restoration and airbrushing and got through away. Now they, people still did with computers but now like you click a button and basically you got a pretty good shot and now you can go into a program and you can give it 12 words and come up with an incredible picture and that could be a whole nother discussion for their day but you know as judges we have to judge this before us but you know all boils down to the integrity of the people entering and uh you know a lot of us have you know we can ascertain if they're been fixed or at, you know, it's, it's going to get the point where the, it's going to get critical to how we judge and look at things. Dwight, do you agree? Uh, yes. And I, I think the, um, the artist judges have to be more educated now um, to recognize certain processes. And even for myself, I'm looking at things and I said, wow, this AI um, application is really impressive and uh, for myself it takes a lot of work away from me uh, make it makes it easier in that sense but then um, as judges um, I think we got to be more educated to recognize um, what processes were possibly involved and in. they might have changed rule changes to show more before and afters I don't know if that will resolve um, some of the issues 
would it would it help the, uh, some of the problems if they showed the original? Well, they do have to show before and afters. Anything like a restoration that Michael showed, they have to show uh, restoration, and um, they don't have to show basically the steps in restoration, just before and afters. But it's uh, it's all the things in between. But it's all the other stuff that's going on, and, and uh, it's just such a plethora of challenges right now with judges that we have to be alert and aware and see what's going on and. And if we see something, we flag it, then we're the bad guys. If we don't see it, then we're the dummy idiot. So, you know, what do you do? One of the basic rules that I kind of follow for myself is uh, if it's a restoration, I just try to look at the finished product and just to make sure that the uh, quality of light, light quality falling upon the subjects are, uh, how we say, uniform and, you know, colors are pretty much um how we say yeah i guess uh realistic. works well yeah realistic that's a good term and uh things like that because i even was, was talking with dennis that there are some pre-packaged backgrounds that you can drop in and if you look at it closely the lighting is not uh how do you say it's not consistent with the rest of the subject so those are little red flags that i see for myself but um this AI process is uh, is going to make work much easier, but for competition, right? The integrity of the each entrant, you know, you have they have to be honest in what they're doing. Yeah, in addition to what Dwight said, you no, know, because I mean, this is not changing things, but a lot of people when they work on restorations, uh, facial features are so disrupted because of cracks and scratches and things, they become distorted. And so that's one of the things I know when I look at and I work on images, you try to maintain the integrity of the image. And that's that's always tough. And I don't know, Michael, I mean, if you had one of these ones, like I had one come in and fall back that was a, uh, I'm sure you've seen the pieces of glass, those concave glass, they dropped and broke it. And they, I kind of pieces a puzzle and trying to put it back together. I don't know if this could, put that together for us like that well look at that scratch there i mean that would be that's a, i consider that a pretty difficult one to do with the face mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that would be a challenge to do because you got to replace the nose um mm -hmm. that's probably the hardest part right there the rest of it would be a breeze fixing all the cracks but the nose is probably the hardest part to replace and if you look at what neuro filters will do with the restoration i'll show you it okay. will not it will not hit the face. Slow it down. Now, I know when we do restorations, like I'm sure Dwight does things and things, there's things, things that hands are gone and faces. And so, I mean, I've had hands and ears in that Sherry's taken me to put in pictures and I've taken pictures of her ears and nose and, and I and dropped in things because it's, this is a program. I'm, and there again, Dwight, this is all the stuff that this program can do, but maybe down the future it will, but that's stuff that, you know, we have to do manually to, you know, capture somebody else's hand and try to conform it and transform it and fix it in there. It's a challenge. It, that's probably the hardest part. And a lot of the restoration people actually have, a whole stock of hands, mouths, mm -hmm. noses, et cetera, on their computers that they can fill in with. And right now I've got scratch reduction all the way up to a hundred, which is the max to go. And it says 25 seconds to go to, to get that. What's in the adjustments thing where it looks like you can drop down, drop that down. You have noise reduction, color noise reduction, half tone mm -hmm. artifact, reduction and jpeg artifact reduction mm -hmm. so okay. with the picture with the girl um with the texture on there i might be able to do like the half tone artifact reduction to save it okay here's the after here's the before it's still pretty impressive though mm -hmm. oh it's incredibly impressive mm -hmm. and the only part now that really needs the most work is right there across your nose that it won't fix. Um, and obviously we need to color correct it. So if we do colorize, even colorize needs a little bit of work as well. So, but it's, it's a good starting point to get you there. And you can see I can do multiple, um, 
filters at one time. I don't have to do a filter, go out, come back, do another filter, and I can turn them off as we go. So I'll turn off colorize and wait for it to catch up now. I did JPEG artifact removal and it decided ah, I'm going to take my time on that one. Michael? But, yes. I wonder what would happen if you manually uh, did some touch up on her forehead and some of the bigger areas there and then <laughs> put it through. Because it's probably looking at that big white area on the forehead and saying, well, that's not a scratch. That's what I'm thinking. What it does with most of the scratches, it takes the smaller scratches and it'll take them out. Right. So if the you bigger, take out that big blob. If I cut down the big blob, yeah, that, that's not that hard. Yeah, we can try it. Let's hit cancel. And then what I'll do is hit my magic wand tool and I'll select just that white area there select modify expand two pixels and then select modify feather let's go with two pixels just to soften up the edge there use the clone stamp tool and just kind of go in and modify some of that really quick whoops Take some of that out real quick and then we'll deselect it and help her with her part here. I don't know if that would work on her cheek or not, but I'm going to see what happens just to and then we'll see what this does now. Filter neural filters and remember this is in the beta version of photoshop so if you're going to your computer and trying to run photoshop 22.5 or whatever else is running right now it won't be in there it's in the beta version and you can download the beta version for yourself michael i don't know if you had mentioned it but uh you know one of the fears always is that you're going to write over the uh current your current version of photoshop uh, very nicely, uh, when you download the beta version, it actually leaves the original version on your computer. You can so see you at the it. bottom of my screen, I have Photoshop 2022 on the bottom right next to Bridge. And as you go across, I have the beta version on the far right. Right. Um, it will, once you open it up in the beta version, it will make it so beta is the default version, which I don't like, but it's what it does. I could see them in the future where it's going to eliminate all this and just have one click away from having a, a finished photo. <laughs> It'll be there. Give it time. Yeah. Okay. You can see nothing really did anything on that one. That was just a straight restoration. Let's go back to filter, neural filter, photo restoration. Let's add some scratch reduction. We'll crank it way up 60%. And we wait. There are a lot of positives out of this. There's also a lot of negatives, but that's okay. We're going to keep working with it. And also, you can say here, are you satisfied with the results on the right-hand side? Yes or no. If you click no, you can say why it didn't work. So you can tell the Photoshop engineers, hey, this is what I need to help. Now, what you can say is when I do the fa enhanced face, it will make the face sharp, but the rest of the image is not. It take out all the noise from the face to where the, it just doesn't look realistic. And come on. Go 
but you can see that the the engineers at Photoshop are going, wow, we can do this. Well, this, what happens if we do this? And then just keep adding more and more in. Okay, we got the blue line at the bottom saying it's processing, so we're almost there. And we'll go open it and then we'll do it before and after for you. And sometimes after you process it, it takes a little while to bring it back into Photoshop, but it's getting there slowly, very slowly. Mike, is this being done locally or is it done via the web? It says it's being done locally on my computer. Okay. But again, it's, well, it could be my computer's old. So, okay. You can see what it did with the face. It's not quite there, but it added color into the eyes, smoothed out the skin big time. But when you go down to the jacket, the skin quality and the face just don't match up with the jacket there. But if you're just doing a face and not the rest of it, that's like, okay, pretty cool. Adds color to the eyes. The nose we still need to fix, but we got to start there. And I'm sure I could do something with that in a matter of a few minutes and just copy and paste the one side of the lips over to the left side and flip it over. But you can see it's, it's getting there. I mean, the robots are scaring me. They are definitely scaring me. So any questions out there? Well, I got to say that process would have saved me uh, from that end product about, oh, 90 minutes of um, artwork. So it, it is a big advantage. It, yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you still sell that 90 minutes just in case it doesn't work anyway. Mm -hmm. So. Well, like I said, I think they're going to get to the point where it's going to be not flawless, but really close to, you know, to the point where you only have to do maybe a half hour of work and that's it. If that, I mean. It's going to get to the point where you just click a button and it, it throws the original face back in there that it stole from the camera from 57 years ago <laughs> that was never digitized. Yeah. Well, it's just like the improvement when they, um, in your raw, on your raw file, they included dehaze and mm. um, that took away, I mean, that helped real, a lot of contrast and saturation and just made it a one bar slider so that was fast yeah that made a big difference mm -hmm. any questions out there going once going twice okay let's do this 